Welcome, 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 everyone. I am Elder Derek Strickland, and I want to welcome you to the Bible Lessons and Prayers YouTube channel. Uh, this channel, we go over Bible lessons, and we, we do prayer right here at this channel. I'm so glad that you're here. And um, this time, we're doing something a little different. I'm, I'm doing a little series where I'm going to be talking about different Bible scriptures as it relates to um, different Bible scriptures for different parts of life, like different things you may be going through. And um, this time, we're going to be talking about Bible scriptures that are encouraging. And if you're out there and you're going through a difficult time right now, uh, maybe you're going into the Christmas season after a loss of a loved one, or um, you're having a hard time on the job, or maybe there's some marital uh, situations that's going on within your marriage that's pretty tough right now. I want to offer you up some scriptures that you can rely on, that you can read, and, and that you can put your trust in, all right? And uh, definitely, uh, uh, I hope that you all find this, uh, these videos as um, effective and um, just find them as a resource that you can come back to and listen to over and over again, as much as you need to, to help you um, get what it is that you need from God through his word. All right. So um, definitely these are scriptures that um, you can go to for encouragement. The first one is found in Joshua. Uh, one nine. First of all, before we get into it, let's say a short word of prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for our point of the Spirit, Lord. We thank you for what you've done and what you're getting ready to do, Lord. We thank you for your word. For your word comes in on time when we need it the most. Lord, just ask that you open up our minds. Help us to believe your word. Help us to believe that you say what you're going to say and you do what you're going to do. <laughs> that you meant every word of what you said. Lord, I thank you for all you've done and all you have to do. These blessings ask in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. All right. So these are Bible scriptures for encouragement. All right. Bible scriptures for encouragement. Um, the first... Um, uh, scripture we're going to go is found in Joshua 1 and 9, and it simply reads as thus, have I not commanded thee, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. This is the Lord telling you, listen, stop tripping, right? I'm here. Don't be, don't be afraid. I actually want you to be of good courage. Neither be thou dismayed. Don't be confused. Don't be confounded. For the Lord thy God is with thee, where, where, whether soever thou goest. All right, let's go to another scripture. Second Timothy uh, 1 and 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind, right? We want to know what kind of spirit God is giving you. It's not the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Even as you're going through your trials and tribulations, he wants you to have a sound mind. As you're going through your tribulation, he wants you to go through with love and with power, right? But of power and of love and of a sound mind. Next scripture is Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Now, we really have to take this lesson and this scripture into context and, and, and remember um, that when it says all things, it's not talking about you doing some cartoonish type stuff, but you're talking about um, going through your trials and tribulations and knowing that you can go through it. You can do this through Christ, not of your own power, not of your own mind, not of your own thoughts, but of um, through Christ which strengthens me, all right, which strengthens you, which strengthens me, all right, Psalm 37, 4, it reads, as thus, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of your heart, this scripture right here is a very, very good scripture, and I believe it deserves to have some time and uh, to dissect it uh, just a little bit more. We often hear uh, people say, well, the Lord will give you the desires of your heart, all right? I don't know why they only give you the last scripture, right? So if you're going down 
if you're going through some things and you're struggling and, and things are just not going um, um, good for you at the present moment, listen to the first half of the scripture. Delight yourself also in the Lord, right? Delight yourself. Find joy in the Lord. Find happiness in his word. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. This is not a scripture that people uh, normally use for like a Christmas list. Like he, you got a long list of things that you want. And most likely these are things that are fleshly desires, things that um, you want, right? Um, but I look at the scripture as saying that he going to give me the desires of my heart. Not I give my desires to him, but he's going to give me the desires of my heart. Because as a Christian, as a believer, right, our heart, our mind is only to please him and to do his will, right? Not our will, but his will. So delight yourself. Also, get happy knowing that God is going to bring you out. Get happy knowing that um, whatever it is that you're going through, as long as it's part of the will of God, you're all right with it, right? Get happy delight yourself also in the Lord and he shall, it's declared, ain't no if, ands, or maybe, he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. All right. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I think I got that scripture twice. Yeah, I got that scripture twice. All right. First John, I mean, John, St. John 1633, and it reads thus, these things I have spoken unto you that in me, ye may have peace. In the world, ye shall have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. In other words, the, um, the Lord is showing us through the scriptures that there are two choices here. And this is what you're going to get if you be with me. And this is what you're going to get if you uh, uh, go and do what the world wants you to do. These things I have spoken unto you that that in me, ye may, you might have peace. In the world, ye shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. All right. Our next one is Mark eleven twenty four, 24. And it reads thus, therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, remember our desire should be his desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. Man, that right there is very, very encouraging. Very encouraging. And our last one is Psalm 37, 34 and 7. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Let's talk about the word fear for a quick second while where, where we're on this, because a, a lot of people right now are stressing and they have a fear of something that hasn't even happened yet. I want to go out on a limb to say most of the things that you fear don't even happen or hasn't happened, right? So when you think about Fear in that sense that you are you have a, uh, a, a fear or a feeling about a thing or situation, a person that haven't even happened. Think about the word faith. Faith is when you have a, a, a feeling about something that haven't happened. You have a belief of something that hasn't happened. Therefore, now faith is. I don't think it says therefore. I think it says now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Fear is how you're feeling right now about something that you haven't seen, and in, in for the most part, right? You could literally be looking at a, a rock roller and you see it, right? But he hasn't bitten you yet, but you are fearful that this is what's getting ready to happen, right? So, um, this scripture says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from my fears, all right? Um, he's going to deliver you uh, from your fears. And 
the words, it means what it says and it says what it means, all right? So I hope that these scriptures that I read to you can comfort you in your time of trouble uh, to act like a bridge over troubled water. Um, his word is all we need in these last and evil days. Listen, if these scriptures, right, if these scriptures um, have meant uh, a lot to you and you find joy and comfort in these scriptures do me a favor go ahead and subscribe to the channel smash the like button and then let me know where, where you watching me from what city you watching me from i would be so glad to know uh just how far the reach is all right so um these are the scriptures that um you may be going through um and uh, scriptures for situations that you may be going through so whether it's um some type of addiction um, going through a hard time, I just want to let you know that the word of the Lord is always present and always ready to deliver. All right. So as always, I am Elder Derek Strickland. It is my wish for you that you all be blessed. Then go out there and be a blessing. Peace.